up? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so, uh, yo, hey. Mm -hmm. What, what, what a ruckus to start the video in, huh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to another video of Kingdom 2 Crowns. You already know what it is. Click on the video. Who cares? Let's just get into it. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> okay. So, I still got stuff on my list. As you can see. Um. Yeah. So, uh. Oh, did autocorrect? Like. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking and rereading, like, looking at the list right now. Did auto-correct, like, correct what Gagun is? Oh. Okay. Well then, either way. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. On the agenda today, I'm gonna be, uh, oh, so lyrically, lyrically and whimsically gonna be telling you about Ikea. Yes, I've been to Ikea recently. <sighs> I know. I'm poor. <laughs> well, now I am. I'm, I'm kind of broke now after I bought my, my stuff. But, uh, yeah. I went to Ikea. It was fun. But before we get into that, how have you guys been doing? No, stop it. How have you guys been doing? Huh? Hi. How are you? Oh, I can't believe she did that. Oh, no way. I'm going to stop doing diva or becoming a diva. Sup? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm going to stop. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm record again. I'm trying my best to record these one after another. Hey. Uh, so I don't know what if you guys gave me any tips. Or said anything in the last episode. Who knows? Larry, you probably did say something. I, I know you. You come in every one of my video. I appreciate that. You're awesome. You're you're the GOAT. You're a G for doing that. I very much appreciate it. Enough gushing about Larry. You. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. So, uh, I, I have no clue if you guys have told me to, like, Flobo, Flobo, go left. Oh my god, you're missing something giant. Go left. There, You can get, like, win the game. You, there's a mount or something. Like, you can get all the hermits if you go left or something. I recorded this literally two minutes. Oh. Hey! I am sorry for that. I got excited. <laughs> I am sorry for that. Um, I did not mean to basically ruin your eardrums. After I did that, I looked over and I just saw a giant like I. It was all blue. It was just all blue. The uh the the um mic thing. I am so I got excited. Why are you going backwards? The wall's right there. I guess there isn't a wall there right now because they're getting they're gonna die. But um. Ah, we we got we got it. I'm sorry, your, your, your sacrifices won't be in vain. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so after we... Okay, after we upgrade this wall... The, the wall that we were... That those guys are dying on. After we upgrade that wall, we're gonna go to the left and try and get the catapult there. That is my main priority right now. I at least want to try and get a catapult on both ends. Because then after we're gonna... Well, I'm gonna feel a lot more safe with catapults at both ends. Why are you still going? What's happening? What? Oh, okay. Come on, 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 come on. Oh. Just, there was nothing. There was nothing there. Alright. Thing one, thing two, get over here. You're gonna become builders. I need those builders to do that. Cool. So we're gonna finish that wall real quick. Then we're gonna go over here. Go to the left and get upgrade those walls a bit more and like until we get the uh whichamo hoo ha the catapult because uh that's what i need catapult in my life who doesn't okay uh mm? thank you huh i'm i don't need you actually 
Oh, we also got this thing. Where where were you all you guys hiding? Why couldn't I get any of you? I should, probably shouldn't be spending my money on this. Actually, no, I should, because my uh, I got a lot of farmers. So we're gonna do four, because we only have four knights on this island. There we go. And now, boom, baby. We got all of our money back. Most of our money back. I'm pretty, yeah, not like, not like, okay. Let's build this wall up to max. We, we got daylight, it's fine. Build this. We're also gonna go to the left. We're going to uh, build this, the little house thing, so we can start act at least getting some, uh, or at least in the process of getting, which uh, villagers. Don't worry, I'm smart. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um, cool. All right. So after you're done that. Is that ever gonna be the max wall or no? Am I delusional? Don't answer that. Okay. Thank you. I, I might need more builders. Oh, I just realized this is all the way to the le right. This is all the way to the right, so, and it's almost night, so I don't think my knights are gonna be able to make it to the left in time. Uh, gross. Gross. Okay, let me... You're, you're gonna be fine if I leave you alone. Let me try and make it to the left as much as I can, because they're gonna be missing their knights. Yeah, there you guys are. You guys are gonna be able to make it back in time. So, I'm gonna go to the left. Let me see if I can hire more of these guys as much as I can. That might have been a mistake. Okay, go to the left. Eh, no, there are some guys. Why are there guys all the way over here? Hmm. Oh, there's only th three, four of you over here. No, oh, still not that good. I was about to say no, we got five, but five's not that bad, much better. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. It's not like it's gonna be a blood moon or anything, or like any of the big guys are gonna come. Can you? St yes. Can, can you stop? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe it's a peaceful night. I'm gonna jinx myself, aren't I? Yeah. Ha! Oh, hey! Thank you for coming to the party. Actually, not that bad of a night. I over-exaggerated just a little. I'm a little worrywart. <laughs> I'm a little scam. Okay. Let's get you guys kind of upgraded, and after we're gonna focus on upgrading or building to the left to try and get the uh, catapults. Yeah, that should be far enough, right? Because we already got pikemen, we don't really need much more. Much more. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, all we need is the builders to rush over here, and they're all the way to the left, so that's gonna. That's gonna take a hot minute. Great. But, uh, okay, yeah, story time. Uh, sorry, I kinda got a little, a, a little wee bit distracted. But, um, yeah. So, Ikea. Went there. I needed to get a new bookshelf to put my books in, because I had a lot of books. Uh, I, 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 I buy books, and now, I, okay. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it. Okay. So, basically, this is how it went down. All right, I needed to get a bookshelf at Ikea. Very nice. The reason why is because I collect board games and I like books. And the bookshelf that I have right now, they were kind of like, they, they were at the meeting point where I could not get any more board games or get any more books because uh, nowhere else to put them. So I needed to go to Ikea and get a bookshelf. I already know which bookshelf I was wanting to get and all of that. It was a Billy bookshelf. It was white. It was really nice. I knew I knew exactly where I'm putting it. I I'm looking at it right now. It's glorious. Literally, after I put it up, 
I, I store I and after I put it up and put my books inside of it and stuff like that, I stared at it for like a good thirty minutes, cause I was like, ah, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Looks uh, looks nice. Very, very, very nice. But um, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go there, spend like, I don't know, seventy dollars, cause that that's what the Billy bookshelf said. Said that it was gonna be a seventy dollar bookshelf. I was like, yeah, well, that seems that seems reasonable. That seems like the price that it should be. I did not I, I did not spend seventy. I spent more than seventy five dollars or seventy dollars inside of it. So before I get into anything, all right. Let me explain to you a rule that I have for getting into new hobbies. Whenever I, a new hobby or something interests me, I have a rule that... <laughs> Living on the nice side of the neighborhood now. What? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna build you. You're you're very you're not a you're not a good thing to build. Um, but uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I have like a rule for oh God, that's too much money. I have a rule for new hobbies. Is um, if I ever find something that I might want to do or like a little new project that I want to try and do, or something, without putting too much money into it or anything like that, to like you know, I don't want to go overboard and realize that eh, it's not the thing for me. For every new hobby that I might want to get into, I only have a hundred dollars budget to like test the waters out. So, you might be wondering what what kind of new hobby were you wanting to try and get into? I wanted to get into the hobby of drum rolls. Thank you, thank you. The new hobby that I wanted to try and do was getting indoor plants. I I like plants. But I don't have, I don't like being an outdoorsy person. And plus, we kind of live in an apartment, so there's not really an outdoors to do anything with. But, um, no, stop it. Stop pressing buttons, you. Uh, so I was like, okay, yeah. That was a hobby that I was recently wanting to get into. Haven't did anything so far. I didn't, like, buy anything for the hobby. So I still had technically $100 for the hobby to get into. We went to Ikea. The only thing on my mind was getting a bookshelf. That's all I wanted to do. My mom, on the other hand, that was with me at the time, wanted to look at everything. Everything that the store had to offer. So I went along with her. Went, went, went to the- oh. So I went along with her, went to everything that we had- like, that there was to look at and stuff. And then eventually, uh, there was like the fake plant section that we went to. I was originally thinking like, oh, okay, well if I don't really want to like, take care of a plant, I guess I could do fake plants or anything like that. But in my mind, I was like, no, I want a real plant. I want a real plant. That's what I want. So eventually, I was like, I was going to hold off on getting any of the plastic plants or anything. Why are you still going backwards? There, there's a thing. There's a wall right. Guys, guys, you don't need three men to do this. Only one of you could do it. I've seen it before. Guys. God, where are you going? <laughs> there was four of you? <laughs> the AI sometimes in this game. I'm not saying anything about bad about the developers or this or anything like that, but the AI. Oh boy. Either way. But yeah, back to uh, the story. I was like, I don't want. I don't want to. I want to get real plants. I don't want to. Get fake plants. What are you doing? There's a wall right- <sighs> Okay. So, I was like, I don't want to get fake plants. I want to get real plants. I want to try and take care of them and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. The, the original reason why I was hesitating on getting plants was uh, because of my books that I have. Uh, I don't want the pages to get yellowed and stuff like that because I don't because I don't want to like get a fake plant after like water and after the, my uh, environment that I have my books in to get too humid and things stuff and also if I have like my if I have my window open I don't want my books to get like sun bleached also my other things to get sun bleached too even though that would take a long time but still psh. um 
So there was a lot of reasons why I didn't really go for getting a plant until I found this at the uh, which get get that catapult over here now, please. <laughs> okay, let's let's go all the way over to the le right side. Let's put you he here. No, cool. There's nowhere to put that either way. Um. Whoa, I just gave myself like freaking lightheaded. Jeez. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, until I went around the corner and saw that they had like this miniature greenhouse, that like a miniature indoor greenhouse that I fell in love with. I seen it. I saw it. I love, if I can find an image of it online, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. But um, I found this and oh my god, it was amazing. I loved it. It was it was so cute. I enjoyed it so much. Um, so where are you going? Eh, I'm not gonna worry about that. The big thing to worry about is this guy. Um. Uh, yeah. So I found this miniature greenhouse and I was like, okay, well if I'm gonna get the miniature greenhouse. I'm gonna try and uh, get I'm gonna get some plants and stuff for it. So I went to their actual like plant section that they had. Got got some two little you no know, I got I got like a vine plant after this one that has like really weird leaves on it. I don't know the name of it. It just got really weird leaves. I should oh, I, I should I should have remembered the name of it. I should have put the name on like the pot that they're in right now. That's kind of spoiling it. But um yeah I got like a new pot for it. Everything like that. <laughs> exactly one hundred dollars. <laughs> I. Where did you go? Why did you go so far? Okay, you're gonna die anyways because, uh, you know, you know, uh, guys over here are gonna snipe you down. Hopefully, I don't want to lose two guys that I spent like four each. Guys. Guys. guys okay good uh but yeah i don't want to uh yeah i spent exactly a hundred dollars on it including the bookshelf it was like 170 decent nice good um so yeah got the bookshelf in my room i asked my mom for help to put it up because you know pretty big bookshelf and also on the instructions it says do not do it by yourself and i put like go of my keyboard uh, do not do it by yourself and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna ask my mom for help for, to do this. Literally two minutes within doing it, uh, she snapped a piece off. Try, I got got like the super super glue, try, <laughs> and tried to fix it. That was fine. But uh, yeah, that was my little excursion to IKEA, and now I have a, and now my room stinks of IKEA, and I love it. I, I don't know if you guys ever like bought IKEA furniture and like put it in your room and stuff like that. Every single time I open my door, all I smell is Ikea in my house. <laughs> because of the, um, m mostly because of the giant bookshelf that I have that's taller than me. Extra I didn't think it was going to be that tall, but no, it's, it, it's a tall one. So yeah, now I got all my books in it, and uh, I'm one step closer to the first thing on my bucket list. Filling a bookshelf full with books. I'm so close. All I have is two more little cubbies to fill up with books, and... If I fill out, right now I have like 80 something like books in, in that, uh, whatchamacallit? Bookshelf. <laughs> the doy. But, uh, yeah, I have like 80 something books in that, um, bookshelf right now. If I just complete the series without buying any new series, it, it will, it, it will fill, it, 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 it's gonna fill it up plus some. Which I'm kind of afraid about the plus sum because that means I'm gonna have to go to IKEA again. Woo! So uh, yeah, after I was done uh, that project and after looking at that little library thing, um, I decided to try and do another project, another little project of mine that I'm gonna try and do, which I think is gonna be really nice. Have you guys ever seen like those uh, pick and go libraries or like the? Uh, you know, like, the little libraries that, uh, 
are are in your neighborhood that's just like a little cubby or something like that on the end of like somebody's house with like a bunch of books in it yeah i want to build one for my neighborhood so right now i'm trying to find a uh whatchamacallit a, a small not not small but like a decent size not too big but like a a little cupboard no not cupboard Wow, I'm blinking. I'm blinking out very hard. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to find like a little thing, a little, a little, a little. Uh, I literally had it. In, like, I, I had it. I had. It was right there. It was in the tip of my tongue. Either way, cabinet. Ha! Got it. Uh, I'm trying to find like a little cabinet, and then after I'm gonna paint it like all nice and teal, and then I'm gonna. Go to uh, I already got some people, like some of my friends, to donate books that they don't want anymore. So I'm gonna fill it up with books. I really want to get like a little gnome with a fishing rod, put it on top of it, and after like have at the end of the fishing rod, put a little bell. So every single time you open it, it hits the little bell. So it does like a little ding 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 ding. Whenever you open it, I, I really want I really want to do this. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna like uh, mark it out with like uh, the name called the Pick and Put Library. Because you pick books and you put books in whenever you want to donate, and it's pretty. Uh, you got me, I got you, uh, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's gonna be my project right now that I'm gonna try and do. Uh, I'm probably not gonna. I mean, I'm gonna. I think I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to pull it off in like a couple weeks or something. I just need to find the cupboard. That's the main thing I need to find. I need to find the little cabinet cupboard thing. And then after once I find it, boom, I'm done. I just gotta paint it, which I got the paints at home. Because me and my mom both paint. Um, and then after that... After we paint it, I just gotta put the decals on it, which is easy enough. And then after that, get the book set in and put it outside. And then boom, done. Made myself a little library. <laughs> So what, back in the days I wanted to get hired as a librarian? Well, I couldn't do that, so guess what now, baby? I made my own library, so now I'm my own librarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna be cool. Th this sounds like this such a nerdy thing. <laughs> oh my god, I just didn't realize how nerdy that sounded. Yeah, I'm gonna be my own librarian if I can't get hired by the library. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, gosh. Um, other things to talk about. Ooh, ah. Uh. Um, at work the other day, I, uh, made it- oh, everybody kind of mad at me. <laughs> Let me tell you how. Um, uh, yeah. At work the other day, I made everybody kind of annoyed at me, and also I had to, uh, I almost- not, not broke an air- uh, like a deep fryer, but I had to get all the oil in it replaced, because of my dumb mistakes. Um, yeah, so whatever you yeah, well, you might not know because you're not an <coughs> industry insider like me, but <laughs> oh god, I hate this. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, um, whenever you like for the nuggets, we have like little bags of nuggets that we keep in a freezer, like right next to uh. Like, it's a wall freezer that we keep right next to the, whatchamacallit, the deep fryer. Um, and I accidentally dropped a bag of nuggets inside the deep fryer. Specifically, the fish deep fryer. Because we have two different deep fryers. One for, like, all the chicken product and one for all the meat pro- Oh. That should be enough. Right? God, I'm so awesome. <laughs> oh, I hate that I just said that. <laughs> okay. So, where's actually the next portal? Uh, it should be good. Yeah, it's right there. Cool. So, if we make... Okay, where where's the... Okay, so there's a hill right there. I can actually probably get you guys to start building. I can probably get you guys to start building it then. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to build that up. As soon as it's build up to like, no, yeah, max, because we don't want to risk it. I don't want to die. We've gotten so far. 
Um, yeah, once we built it to max, we're gonna send our guys in, defeat that portal. And I don't know how many portals there actually are on the island. Um, either way. <laughs> um, oh, that's a big number. Um, yeah, so, accidentally dropped a bag of nuggets inside of the, uh, deep fryer. The plastic basically melted really fast. Um... I was kind of stunned. I didn't really know what to do. I try I wanted to pull it out, but I was like, at the same time, I was like, oh, wait, if I pull this out, the grease is going to get everywhere, and that might be like a safety hazard. So I was like, oh, okay, well, shit, I don't know what to do. Somebody pushed me aside. I was like, okay, Flobo, I, I got this. And after pushing me aside, and after everybody kind of like swarmed the deep fryer, because again, plastic isn't supposed to be inside of a deep fryer. I'm kind of a health hazard there, I just realized. You know, from all the injuries that I get myself into and all the stuff that happens i didn't even tell you about the one time that the place almost got flooded which was awful <laughs> but um yes i was one I, I was probably one of the reasons why i almost got flooded but either way psh, shush um yeah don't focus on that focus on upgrading these guys so that they're already upgraded to the max nice um how far along are you Okay, so hold on. Let me let me do this first, and then after let me do this. Okay, boom. Now they're gonna get to it. Yeah. Okay. There's another guy there. Whew. Okay. By the time that this finishes, that they should be done with the portal on the left. Hopefully, don't jinx myself again. Please don't. I beg of you. Um. <laughs> Oh gosh, but um, yeah, that's the nugget incident. I was really embarrassed because uh, you know, accidentally dropped a piece of plastic inside of a deep fryer and it melted everywhere, and we had to replace the entire vat. But yeah, it was fun. I mean, like it's not fun. I mean, like I I don't mean like I had fun doing it. I mean like never mind, never mind. Shh, don't pay attention to me, please. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> um, and other things to talk about. Me and my mom, uh, in our house, we're playing a game. Uh, we're uh, for Valentine's Day at the uh, McDonald's. We like gave out little Valentine. You know, whenever you were a kid, and uh, during class or something like that on Valentine's Day, everybody would give Valentines to everybody and stuff like that, like little candies and things. Yeah, we did that. Where is this catapult? There's that catapult. We need that catapult. Get it here quick, please. Set it up quicker. Yeah, this is not looking good. Oh, the worst thing of all is oh okay, they're already here. No, never mind. I'm just I'm just paranoid. I'm just a little paranoid. Cool. Okay, we got one of you guys. You're gonna get set up. I need firewalls for you, please. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the uh, entire volcano thing. I look, I see you in the background bubbling up. I see you. But uh, yeah, back to the story thing. So um, at, for Valentine's Day, uh, make like at, at my workplace, we had this like little thing going on where uh, we we gave Valentine's to each other, and like one of the Valentine's gifts that somebody gave me was like this little yellow squishy mouse i want to say for valentine's day which is already kind of weird enough but it gets weirder um yeah no so i didn't i didn't really know what to do with it so i decided to come up with this game this is the wrong side it's coming from the left right the left right it's all coming from the right side isn't it oh never mind it's done okay let me look at the right side right now hey that kind of rhymed but not shush um oh it's about to become night isn't it oh whoops never mind um yeah so i decided to play a game with my mom where i i, I was looking on instagram and um like I, I was perusing for instagram and stuff like that and i saw this like couple that they grabbed like they had like this little ghost with like a top hat and they would hide it around the house for the other person to find. And whenever the other person finds it, it's their turn to hide it for the other one. 
So I was like, oh, I want to do that eventually. So now I had the chance to do it with like this little rat thing. And uh, yeah, we've been hiding it around for like a couple weeks now. It's been pretty fun. Um, I am so far the rounding champ. I have s hit it for around three days before my mom gave up and I had to tell her where it was. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at hiding stuff. And then after, right after, she hit it in such a good place where, without even me asking for hints or anything like that, she kind of just told me where it was. It was in a really good place. But, uh, yeah, so it passed around. It is now my turn to hide it. And my, my mom doesn't watch these videos, but uh, I'll tell you where guys where I hid it. So we have, like, this tiki mask. Oh, by the way, the rules is that it has to be hidden in plain sight. Like, it ha can't be, like, it ha you, you have to be able to see it just by, l like, looking at it. So it can't be, like, inside of a box in the basement or something like that. Or it can't be, like, it can't be, like, that. Well, it has to be in plain sight where you can see it without really trying to find it. Like, if you're just standing in the middle of a room, you can see it. Just boop, right there. Or something like that. Um... So, where I decided to hide it, hide it is my mom has, like, this collection of, like, tiki mask type things on the wall uh, where the stairs are. And one of them it has, like, it, its eyes. It's, like, hollow in the inside, and its eyes are, well, hollow, too. So, what I decided to do this time is I decided to put it inside the mask, but where the eyes were... So, uh, you could technically see it. It's really, it's really hard to see, which is the good point. But it's, uh, you can technically see it. If you look at the Tiki Mask closely, or like, in its eyes. If you look at the Tiki Mask's eyes, you can see the yellow rats, like, inside of the mask. So, that's where I hit it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you guys updated to tell you how long it's gonna take her for, to find it. But, uh... I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of this one. I am pretty darn proud of this one. This one seems real nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So that that's the. Uh, by the way, we also call it the Gagun. So uh, I'll keep you guys on Gagun updates regularly. Don't you worry. I'll keep you updated on the Gagun. <laughs> um. Oh, wait, where can I put this? Where's the free space? You're not a free space. You're not a free space. You seem free. Yeah, you're free. Ba -ba. Okay. Now we got fast travel, baby. Hell yeah. Um, cool. So, the future of this channel. I know I'm leaving this to the end. You're probably going to be clicking off soon. Please don't. I want to talk about this. So, the reason... I've been... People have been ta telling me about this, like, so often and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah, you gotta worry about SEO. Worry about- do SEO stuff. Your channel's not getting as many views as it should be. Do SEO. Do SEO. I- I, I kind of know what SEO is, but at the same time, how was I, I- The thing that I, like, made me not do SEO was how am I supposed to do SEO for, like, a gaming channel? Like, if I'm doing, like, Let's Plays or, like, just playing games all day- I don't want to be, like, the kind of person where it's like, Alright, these are, like, the f top five mounts in Kingdom 2 crowns. Number five, the Griffin. I'm kidding. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't want to really do be that kind of channel. I kind of just want to, you know, hang out with you. Talk. Play games. Um, but I finally realized how, like, what they mean by SEO and how to do SEO in a gaming channel. I just had to play the more, po like, the popular games that are trending right now. That's what they mean by SEO, and that's how I should be able to do it, be, do SEO on a gaming channel, because no offense Kingdom 2 Crowns fans and also Cursed Golf fans, because I'm also a Cursed Golf fan and a Kingdom 2 Crown fan, it's not really getting a lot of search results, because it's not really new or that popular, it's kind of a hidden gem, and I realized that, and uh, so, for the future of... Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go for like the big like, oh yeah, welcome to Lethal Company, guys. Hi. Or so, actually, I don't really think Lethal Company is really that popular anymore. 
I would love to play it. I haven't played it yet, but I don't have anybody to play it with. Oh, girl. I need to find YouTube buds to do YouTube things with. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink, nudge. Huh? Huh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, either way. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that that's what they mean by SEO. I already have other games uh, that I'm going to be playing on the channel. I already know what I'm going to be playing next. Um, it's going to be a surprise to you guys. And maybe SEO might be applying to it. But these are games that I honestly just want to play and like cover a little bit. Um, but after, okay, after this Kingdom series, like after Skull Island, the, I'm sorry to say Kingdom 2 Crown fans, there, there isn't going to be a, like Kingdom for a while. I'm going to be trying to focus on other th games right now. But don't worry, it's not going to be gone forever. I, I love Kingdom. I'll never be able to leave it for too long. But um, I'll, I'll probably be, I'll probably play them on a stream or something. Because I was also thinking about maybe doing the stream soon. I know, I know, I know I said uh, like doing the subscriber mile goals and stuff like that. But I'm just going to do stuff that I want on this channel. No offense, no offense to you guys. I'm not like saying like, I don't care about you. Boo you. I'm just going to have fun with this channel. It's my channel. I'm not going to. I realized that I was kind of preventing myself from doing the things that I wanted to do on this channel. And I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to have fun with this channel and do the things I want to do on it. And if you guys want to stay with me and watch me continue doing the things that I want to do on this channel, stay with me. I would be glad to help be with you and like be here with you. But if, you, if you're after Kingdom 2 Crunch is done or after Cursed Skull for whatever, if, if you guys don't want to like, continue staying around with me, I, I could understand that. It's fine. And I'm glad that you were able to stay here when you could. I appreciate it. But with that, I'm going to end my episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later. Yeah, so, uh... I am sorry. I, I didn't really realize, um... I forgot to focus on the giant tower and we lost the game whenever I was ending the video. Like as soon as I entered it, the entire thing happened and we lost the video game. So, uh, yeah. Uh, tell me what you guys wanted me to do in the comments. I don't know if I should just end kingdom here or maybe restart a new file, a, a new game file. Or maybe just live stream it, to be honest, now. Uh, tell me in the comments what you guys want me to do. I I'd be willing to live stream this entire game. Uh, but yeah. See ya.